In this video, I will show you how you can program your ESP32 with the Arduino IDE. Let's first make this full screen and then we go into tools and then manage libraries. Control plus shift plus I does the same because we need, first need to install the ESP32 libraries before we can use the um, ESP32 with the Arduino IDE. So um, if we search ESP32, then it will show up in my um, Arduino IDE or not. Uh, let's see. ESP32, ESP, ESP32. Yes, there are a couple of ESP32 libraries, but um, normally you have to install them first. So to be able to see all of this, we need to go and use a search engine. I used uh, Google for this instance, and I searched for ESP32 install Arduino IDE, and the first site that came up is a pretty good one. It's randomnerdtutorials.com. And when I click on this, I get this. Uh, you can watch this video to see how you can do this. Or you can follow this uh, written tutorial. It says you need to have the Arduino IDE installed. Oh, that should be easy to find right here. And you need a ESP32, of course. Then you should go into File and then Preferences. Then this screen will come up. And in this position, you would need to post a uh, code. So what you do is you uh, select this uh, code and you copy it. So right click copy or control C on the keyboard. And you go back to the Arduino IDE and you open up tools and then you go to board and then you choose boards uh, manager. So this can be closed and then File, Preferences, and then Additional Boards Manager, and it's already in here. So I'll select this and remove this, and then you uh, paste it in. Uh, Control V on the keyboard, and then OK. Now it's in here. And now, because it's in here, we can also find the um, the library so we go to board and then boards manager and now when I type in ESP32 I press enter or oh, I don't have to press enter it comes up and it's already installed because I installed it and you can select a version and then click install but I already installed the latest so I'm not going to do that now so that's there. Uh, now we go to tools and then to port and we see um, COM1 is present. And now when I plug in the um, ESP32, so I use my USB cable and plug it in. So it's, um, it's available now when I go to tools and I look at ports it's set COM6, so I should use uh, COM6, not COM1, because COM1 was already there, and when we connected the ESP32, COM6 became available. So we're using COM6. Now the board should be um, ESP32 Arduino, ESP32 development module. Your upload speed should be the highest speed, 9 to 1, 600. Another setting would work fine. This one would also work fine, but this is faster. Um, the CPU frequency is set as its highest, and you should check your specifications of the ESP32 to check if this is correct. And for this module I'm using, this is the correct setting. Flash frequency, usually 80 megahertz, and flash mode is usually QIO. And if that does not work, you could try DIO. 
the flash size depends on the type of uh, ESP32 you have. So check your specifications, uh, default partition scheme. I'm using the uh, top option in this case. I'm not debugging. Uh, set this to disabled and now this should be able to program the ESP32. Take a look. I'm, I'm using the um, 1.8.19 version of Arduino IDE. If you're using a lower version, you also have to uh, set the, the programmer type. And in this case, it should be AVR MK2. Um, let me make a screenshot from this. So I'll post an image with these uh, settings in the description of the video. Now let's um, upload the, the program we have here. This program does nothing. It's just uh, the standard program. Uh, it has a void setup and it says uh, put your setup code here to run once. So everything put between these uh, accolades is only run once when the ESP32 boots up. Then it will load everything inside this uh, loop repeatedly. So your main code should go here to run repeatedly between these two accolades. So now um, I want to upload this program into the ESP32. So I'm going to press this upload button. And then we have to wait till the sketch is compiled. I'm going to fast forward this. Now it says connecting and these dots and lines are appearing. And as long as these dots and lines are running, you have time to press this uh, boot button. So you press it with your nail and then hold it down and uh, until it starts writing the code. Now it says it's done uploading, so it should be in the ESP32 now.